Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm going to be showing you how to do the Polaroid on the square slider card from my collection. So I've had quite a few people message me about this one, so I thought I'd do a tutorial and I've made this card which I'm going to be giving to my mum. So on the front here is my mum, my sister and myself. That was a day at the beach at the end of autumn last year, I believe it was. It was a really nice day. It was, oh no, actually, I tell a lie, it was Mother's Day last year. I remember now because we had a picnic. So um, yes, yeah, so it was still a bit chilly. So that's why we've got our hoodies and I've got my coat on there. But anyway, I just thought it was a lovely photo to put into this card and to show you how to do the Polaroids. You'll see here, you've got this square section and I don't know how well it's showing up, but can you see you've got like some stitch detail, you've got this embossed part here, which I'll show you. And then I've done some heat embossing with the You're Wonderful there. And then you just pull the top and then it will reveal this lovely sentiment here, which is someone special, someone kind. You're the one who comes to mind. Just to say a big thank you for all the lovely things you do. So isn't it cool? And I've got the sunglasses there as well, which come in the die set because we've all got our sunglasses on. Again, I just think it all works really well together. I've used the papers as well, which I'll show you in a moment. It's a top folding six by six card and inside you've got plenty of room there to stamp your message. So you can display it like so, or you can display it open with it like that, which is how I think my mum will display it in her craft room, because I know she's gonna love this and she will definitely be keeping it. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so this is the die set here and you can see that Polaroid that I'm gonna show you today. So I'll take this out so I can talk you through all of the dies. Um, I've already gone ahead and cut everything, so I'll just be assembling um, because it's, you know, you'll have the dies there, so I'll just point to each one that you need. The sentiment I'm using, again, I use it so much, they're just so handy, and it's by Card Making Magics, the verses, and I'm going to use the someone special, someone kind, you're the one that comes to mind, just to say a big thank you for all the lovely things that you do. Um, I just think that's really appropriate. And then the paper pad is this one here, which is just so beautiful. It's Let's hear it for the girls, and it's the geodes one, because there's the geodes, and then there's the... The candy one so you've got the two there to choose from but I'm going for this beautiful green which I've already taken out I'll show you it in here though look at that one you see the foiling that runs through so that's the one I'm using today okay so I'm working on a six by six card blank so I've already cut this piece here which was a piece of 12 by 12 so I've just cut it in half and then scored it at six inches folded it in half to give me my card blank this, these are always top folding cards you can have them side fold but i just think they work really well as a top fold card so that's all ready to go and i've already popped a piece of five and three quarters squared white card in the inside there i've also then gone and cut another piece of five and three quarters square because for this one i want to have a white border sometimes i haven't again on the playlist that will be shared there's all different you know different kind of ways that i've done the mats and layers on this but then i've got this one that's going to stick over the top so the white one you'll need to cut yourself five and three quarters square this one is cut using your largest square one okay you can see there how I've cut that you also if you're using plain card you've got this die here which will give you a stitched effect so it's just a stitched embossed die there so you can pop that around the side but this now will sit over there and then I've got that white card to be able to stamp my kind of hidden message I didn't want to stamp it directly onto this color because I just don't think it won't stand out as much so that's why I've added the white there so get all those ready I've also gone ahead then and cut two of these pieces using the largest rectangle piece. The rectangle and this piece are your mechanism. Okay, so it's easy to kind of, you know, keep those, I always keep those two together and then all the squares I keep together here because they're all part of your decoration. But I've done this one here. Now I've actually cut two of them and popped them together just to make it a bit stronger because you're going to pull this piece, you know, this is going to come out the top here um, to then lift this piece up. So I've cut two of them and just stuck them together and it's a really nice strong piece now. Then to do the Polaroid, I have cut three pieces. You don't have to do this, but the black cardstock I'm using is more, it's, it's very lightweight. So I just thought I'm gonna have three, so it becomes a really kind of thick dimensional piece. This is the photo I've chosen here of me, my sister and my mum in black and white. Just thought it'd look really nice. And I've already gone ahead and I've cut the glasses here, which I love, really nice. So I've just done them there. So I just cut them a few times in black and then I've just die cut it again in the mirrored card and pop that in the centers there. And then I've put glossy accents actually on the black there as well. You can just about make it out. But I've done the three of them, so it's a nice thick piece now. You can just see there how thick that is. And that's gonna be kind of decorated like that. And I've done the XOXO, which is here. I've done the stars, which are there. I've done the, you can just see the glare there, that one there. The love, which is this one here. <laughs> And then I've done a few stars as well, which is this one here. So first of all, 
with this one you will have this die here now this rectangle one is just purely to emboss so I'm going to lay that one down the bottom here and it will give you a once it embosses it will just be this long rectangular area for you to be able to stamp into and it's just it's just a nice effect and then I have this one here which I'm going to cut a window out of an actual I want to cut an aperture out of it because then I've cut my picture using that same die so you'll see this is the same size that way I can piece this back inside and it'll be flush you could if you want just stick your photo on the top okay but I do like having it just flush with that cardstock so I am going to cut it out again so I'm going to pop that one on there and then you've got your this one here which is that stitch detail and that one is going to go around the outside there so I'm going to grab my tape, so I'm just making sure I've got a nice even border, I've got a nice even side here, and then this piece kind of sits evenly as well. And I'm just going to add my tape across those three there, because this piece is going to cut out. So I'm just going to run that through my machine. Okay, so that's all come away nicely, and you'll see now, oh well, this is, there we go. You see the stitch detail around the frame here and then you can see how it's just embossed this section here so it's flattened that piece and that's where I'm going to stamp and um, heat emboss my sentiment. Okay, then I'm not going to stick it onto this yet on these two pieces because I want to heat emboss because the heat emboss is going to slightly warp so then by the time I stick it onto these two pieces it will you know kind of straighten out again but they're going to all stick back down together with then that photo stuck inside. Okay, so that's how you do that piece because I've had quite a few people message and ask how you know you put that one together. So I just wanted to show that piece and now I'll do the heat embossing to that in a minute. We can move on. So you would have cut this one with the largest square, okay, that one there. And then you want to die cut your mechanism and your finger pull. Finger pull is optional, you, you can get away without it, but it depends. Some people like to cut their pull out piece so it's flush with the top of this, others are having it sticking out, so you've got the option there. So with this one here, I'm gonna sit it so that it is about half an inch up from the bottom, and you know, you've got equal sides there. I think that looks about right. I'm just gonna attach that in the middle there. And then your finger pull should be about two inches from both sides there. I'm just gonna run that through my machine. Okay, so again, all cuts nicely, so I'll pop that one back in there. And then this one here. Okay, so that's all come away. Pop all this back so I don't lose any of it. So now you'll have it like this. So you'll have it attached at the top. You've got a score line here and a score line here. So you just want to fold that one so it's a valley, this one so it's a mountain, and then that smallest one so it's a valley. And you'll see there you've got your slider mechanism. Now with this piece here, lots of you will know what to do now because it's exactly the same as all the others, but you want to sit this one on top of this piece here. Make sure you've got a nice even border. And then I'm going to pop this so it's about halfway. And I'm just going to mark with a pencil the four sides. And now I can see the area where I need to stamp. I'm going to grab this one here. Ink that up, pop that one down. There we go. Rub out those pencil lines. Okay, so that's now all ready. You'll see now when that's folded down, it will cover it, and then when you pull it up, it's going to reveal that really nice message. So, next, we can flip this one over, and with some tape, you want to run your tape along the smallest rectangle, that bottom piece. So just that one there, okay? And then you're gonna attach your, this piece here that you're gonna slide everything out with. So I like to sit it on top here, above. Make sure you've got a nice even side there and then just slide it down until you get it over where your tape is. And it should be lined up with that, you know, that where that cut line is there and then just push it down. And now when you flip it over, you'll see how that's gonna pull up. Okay, I'll just show you there what I've done. So it's just attached to that bottom piece where you've added that tape. Now you can see where you can add your tape on the three sides. So you don't want a tape that's thicker than this section here because it has to stay outside of this bit because it needs that 
that space to be able to move up and down. So if I put this one in here. And then we're going to grab that white piece and then from the bottom I'm just going to make sure I've got a nice even border and then just lay that down and just run my fingers up the sides there and now you can see how your slider works and you get a really nice movement with it there looks really good okay so now I can stick that on to here and you'll see then I'll have that frame from the tealy colour on the cardstock underneath. I'll use my Kalal glue for this. Okay so that is now all stuck down so next I want to do a little bit of heat embossing on this one here. Okay so I don't know if this one's going to work I'm going to try it but it's the, from the Woodware One Liners I really enjoy using these and it's the You're Wonderful. So I've just laid it there and I think that's going to look nice but this is obviously it's going to emboss everything that's black on there so it's all the background so I'm hoping that um, it's going to work okay so I'm just going to prepare all of this. So I've already just covered it with the anti-static powder so now I'm just going to stamp it down. And the good thing about working with black is you can really see it show up like so. Well it's come out good so now hopefully there we go you can actually see it. So let's see if the Embossing powder is going to work well. I can see it, it doesn't really show there, but let's try it. Let's heat set it. Oh, I'm so pleased it's worked. And there we go, you can see it says you're wonderful. There we go. How good's that? It's so fine. I was worried that you know it was just going to kind of get lost with the embossing powder, but the embossing powder I've used is the one from the Olga's Paper Craft Society kit because it's such a fine, it's really really dusty, it's not um it's not very grainy, you know, um textured, it's it's like flour. <laughs> it's the easiest way to describe it. So I'm just gonna I've got a little stray there, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. There we go. So now I can attach it to these two just to strengthen it and I'm going to stick my photo in there. I'm going to just use some double sided sticky tape for the photo. Um, this was just printed from my printer, you know, I'm not expecting it to last forever but um, if I use, you know, my solvent it will just eventually just ruin the image quicker. So I'll use it just for the frame to strengthen it all but I am going to just use some double sided tape to attach the photo. Okay, so now when you pull this up, this will stick right on the front and just overhang a little bit like so. Isn't that lovely? It's it just, I don't know, there's something about this kind of style. I think it probably doesn't help that I've got my family there as well. It just makes me, it looks like a really nice piece to decorate, to display, you know. So now I'm going to add my glue onto this whole front section here that on there make sure it stays above that score line this bottom one here otherwise it won't lay flat so I always like to attach my stuff on first of all just to kind of let it grab like so and then once it's in place you can lie it flat and then you can kind of put a bit more pressure on it and once whilst that's drying I'm going to start sticking these little decorations on so as long as everything stays within the shape of your card so I've got that one there I think the stars I'm going to have along that rectangle there and then I'm going to have a star there, another star there, I'm going to have the love like so and then I'm going to have the XOXO probably like that and let's put that one there. I'm going to have it something like that, I think that looks really nice. I'm going to get that stuck down Okay, so that's everything stuck down. If I just bring it up there, I think it looks really, really nice. Really pleased with that. Also, for those of you that have this one, it's still currently sold out, but you get the little pull stamp there. So I'm just going to ink that up. If you've got my Paper Craft Society kit, you will have pull in that as well, which you could use. But alternatively, you could just write it yourself. Now, oh, that's still not stuck down. Oh, there we go. Let me just move that. So I'm going to pop the pull. Yeah, I'll pop it in the finger pull because that's where it's intended to go. There we go. And I'm just going to pop that back down there. 
So it's, a, it's an instruction there if the person needs it. There we go, that's all stuck down now. So again, that's how it is flat and it can also be displayed that way. So someone's maybe limited for space or that's just how they prefer to display it. It looks lovely. And then obviously you can pull it up that way and you have that hidden message there which I think works really well with the picture there. I love it, I'm really, really pleased with this one. So that is my memory slider card or picture slider card. I think it's really nice and I've got lots of room inside there to be able to write my message. So I hope that's explained it for those of you that have been asking me how to put the Polaroid style together and I look forward to seeing your versions. As always, everything will be linked below. I'll share here the other ones from the slider collection as well because there's the six by six circle and there's the five by seven rectangle. So you might be interested to see what those are like as well. So thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.